Hey everyone, welcome to Market Watch. Today we're going to look at some singles and see if they're worth buying yet or not. Are the prices where they need to be? Are the prices still ridiculous? Let's find out together. I figured we start out with a secret words this time. Start off here with Vidramon. This is a $38 listing, which is actually pretty incredible. This one's, you know, bid for 30 bucks. That's 35, you know, 60. Vidramon zero going for almost 42 bucks together. Uh, that's a bit much. Yeah. Now we have an alternate art there for 120 bucks, basically. So Vidramon is settling around the 35, 38 dollar price point right now. You know, I would probably consider buying that, especially because next set we get the All Force Vidramon, and I know people aren't really excited about that anymore. People think it's not going to be meta impacting, but it is going to be. It's going to see some tops here and there. And I would definitely consider getting your Vidramons at this price, because I can't see them going much lower than this. Moving right along to Metal Greymon. We have a secret rare for alternate for 100. Uh, we got a bid. We got, I don't know why that's there. Another alternate for 100. Still freaking $8 for place of the commons. Yeah, that's cool, I guess. Here we go. Uh, finally, a $60 one, the regular art. That's not bad. You know, that's a better price than we've seen lately. Another 60 bucks, another 60 bucks, and we're up there. Another 60 bucks. So it looks like Metal Greymon Secret Rare for reasonable prices is setting around 60. You know, I, I would I would consider getting it at 60 bucks for the regular art. The, the alternate art's looking at around 100 for lowest. Uh, if you want to buy them now, I wouldn't blame you. I think they might drop a little bit lower, but you know, it's not bad. It's a good price. Next tab here, I just want to shout out the last video I uploaded, the friggin' uh, Diaboromon Wargreymon deck profile. You know, not even like 12 hours in, we're at 930 views, which is pretty freaking good. A lot of likes, a lot of comments. You know, just wanted to big, make a big shout out to you guys for making that possible. You know, you keep giving me views like this, keep the trajectory going, I'll make whatever content you want, I don't really care. The last secret rare is Beelzemon. And 155 bucks for the alternate art still. That's a bid. That's a bid. That's 200 bucks. That's that's expensive. Yep, yep. All the alternate arts are expensive. No more regulars on the market except for the one that's going for a bid. Huh. Interesting. People will probably scoop these up. I think the price is still going to go lower on them, but it is a nice looking card. So there you go. Omnimon time. So we got some bids going on here. That's fine. I uh, a brand new, just buy it for 120, including your shipping. And then we have an alternate art here for 270, which is the best price I've seen for that. And then for yeah, yep. Mhm. Mm That's really it. Not a whole lot. We'll see what happens with these bids, but like you know, Omnimon settling. It's not really dropping anymore. You may want to get your Omnimons now. You know, yeah, playing, paying 100 for a, a card, 400 for a play set isn't necessarily fantastic. But if you do want to play Omnimon, it's, it ain't going much lower than this. Everyone's opened their boxes. All the singles are out there that we're going to get till January. If you can wait till January, yeah, wait till January. If you can't, I think 100 is where it's going to be. Puppetmon. Yep. <laughs> so we're at 33 bucks there. That's a bid. We're still 15 for regular rares. 50 for an alternate art. And that's bids. Yeah. So in in the 30 30 range for the alternate art there, and the lowest you find a rare for apparently is like 15 bucks. Uh, again, uh, those are probably gonna drop. The promos maybe not. Maybe the rares should drop, especially in January because they're rares and they're easy to get. It's just everyone's hyping Puppetmon because it's so good. You can play it wherever you want. So that's why it's that expensive. It's good against a lot of matchups, slows things down. Keep that in mind. I searched Gaia Force. As you can see, there's none. They're not there. But you can buy two of the freaking Morg Raymonds for 30, 34 bucks. What this person's doing is kind of smart. They realize that Gaia Force is the card they want to keep, probably. So they're basically selling those to make their money back on the structure deck, keeping the Gaia Force <laughs> and everything else. It's really funny. Uh, but yeah, there's that. And there you can see, you know, that's ridiculous. Four, 15 for a Phoenix Mon. I don't, I don't think so. Well, these, these are some ridiculous prices. 
I think what ended up happening is people got wind of the whole structured X not getting reprinted until later thing, and that's causing a bit of the prices to expand. So just keep that in mind. The structured deck prices of cards are going to be ridiculous right now. Wizardmon. Uh, $5 for a place out of commons is okay. And that's really it. I mean, uh, yeah, it's still a little bit of high. But, you know, that's reasonable. But wait, just wait a little bit. Uh, War Greymon time. So we're 35 for one. Oh, and last one. People are buying this. Actually, that's crazy. Uh, 90 bucks for your alternate art red. Uh, Freaking uh, 26 29 it looked like the other day when we saw them for twenty dollars. That was the that was the floor, and now they're not going to go any lower. So yeah, that's expensive, and that's thirty bucks. I don't I don't want to be that guy, but if you want your War Greymons before January, you gotta get them now, because they're just gonna keep going up. I think, I think the twenty dollar War Greymon phase is over. I think you need to get them now if you want them before January. Here on the opposite side of the coin, we have Metal Guru Mon, and we got 20 for the one. We have some bids, lots of bids, auctions are cool. Uh, Freaking over 100 for the Altar Blue, and we got back to 32 for the purple, that's 40, and that's, that's, uh, that, yeah, that's still expensive, that's really expensive. If you want them, you might have to, have to, have to get them now, 30 is probably the best you're going to see on these. Uh, that's it, I think. We hit saw the, the lowest. Grab this one up while you can. That's it. Gallantmon. Not a lot of listings. You got 30 bucks. You got over 100. You got 40 bucks. You got over 100. And that's it. You know, Gallantmon's decent. Is it $30 decent? Maybe. It'll be a lot lower in January. So I would definitely wait. I don't think Gallantmon is like the pick. I think it's good. I think it's gonna see meta play, but I don't think it's 30 bucks good, in my opinion. Millennium on, alrighty, you can buy it for 53 bucks, or that again. I think that's the same one as last time too. Huh. Looks like Millennium on isn't really settling below 50 bucks altogether, 40 bucks, so you might wanna keep that in mind. If you need it, you might wanna get it. If you need it before January, that is. In this video, I'm saying a whole lot of, if you can wait till January, wait till January, and you know, it's true. <laughs> You should wait till January if you can wait till January. I understand that you want to, you know, play some cards, but we're at the point where the floors are being reached and prices are starting to go back up. That's just where we are right now. Uh, if you can want to get them now, get them now before they really get up there. But just know that in a month or two, things are going to start going way down. That's all. Diaboromon. Shout out to Black. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's expensive. That's not bad. You know, that's almost 30 bucks for the for one there. Millennium on's back. That's 40 bucks. 35 bucks. So a lot of Dire Marmons are on the market now in the 30 to 40 range. That's not bad. If you can pick them up for 30, I'd probably do that before the card goes up and then back down in January. Yeah, we know. Last card here is Magna Andromon. Magna Andromon. Still 25 bucks. And there's 50. And the alternate arts, that's 76. And that's 80, and that's 40, and that's, you know, 28-ish. It looked like the floor was hit at $25 for this card. You know, I would consider getting it for $25 if you need it. It's not going to go lower until January. And now for some sold eBay listings. Let's see if we see anything obnoxious, like Piedmon for 103 bucks, but it was unsold. I'm not surprised. Anything else crazy? Cantorus Mon for nine bucks, I believe that. Beelzemon for seventy. That's where one of them went. Uh, Hercules for ten. This this guy, I don't want to want to shout anyone out or anything negatively, but he's having a lot of unsold listings. Like that that can't be good for his reputation. I, I don't know anything about anything like that, but. Just saying, lots of unsolds. Not really super happy, I suppose. Lilithmon, we never looked up Lilithmon, but you know, 32 bucks selling. That was a good price. I remember looking it up earlier today, or yesterday. Way more than that. Yeah, nothing nothing ridiculous anymore. Seraphmon for under 20, Rosemon for 12 is not bad. For 38 bucks? 
Thank you for watching Market Watch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn that notification bell on the smash potatoes, and we will see you next time. Take care.